Um, first things first, let me go ahead and show you what I have prepared in type form. So if you've never seen type form before, let me go ahead and share. This should work ideally. Double check. Okay. So type form's great. If you haven't used it before, super easy to use. Uh, you're basically able to put together a quiz, answer, you know, ask some questions, collect those answers, but you can even take it to the next level. So let's say you want to um, do some branching logic. So in this one in particular, right? I have this one, it's a template straight from Typeform. So if this one fits your brand perfectly, you can like out of the box, hit the ground running with this. Hashtag not sponsored, okay? <laughs> but say I'm like, yeah, I wanna build a skincare routine with these new leads, figure out what they're suffering from. If there's like, you know, hey, they have acne problems, they have dryness. Like imagine the buckets of your customers, that's what your quiz is doing. It's then putting them in those buckets, okay? So with this one, I have a first step here. It's asking what their name is. You don't have to have this in there. It's it's sometimes good to have. I mean, it's a personalization piece. The less que questions in your quiz, the better, the better odds that it's going to be completed. So just putting that out there as well. Um, this next question is then saying, hey, dynamically first name. So Peyton, um, are there any spe specific skin concerns? And then I can say yes, no, unsure. And then, okay, what is the main concern you'd like to address? Blemishes, dull skin, maintenance, aging. Now that this lead has selected one of these, I'm then categorizing them in my mind. Blemishes group, dull skin group, maintenance group. But when we get over into Clavio, we're going to use that data, okay? And then how important is that skin concern to you? And they can rate it on a scale of one to five. If they're giving a rating on one of these quizzes and like this is a top concern, you know, in a way that lead is actually like considered really hot, right? Uh, they have a problem they want to have solved as soon as possible. <laughs> so they're able to kind of rate their concerns on like a scale of you know zero to five. And then we are asking some questions like, hey, well, what age group are you in? Because maybe the, well, definitely, right? The acne email path of someone who's 18 to 30 is very different than someone who's 51 and above, right? Two different types of imagery, marketing, other ailments. Like there are so many other things that go into that, right? So this is a great way to collect again, more buckets. We're dividing our buckets into buckets, but you get what I mean. You can use this really juicy data to then build out some automations, some email segments, some targeted emails. It's great, right? Okay, let me show you real quick in type form. So let's say if you wanted to at the end, oh, very important last step, collecting an email address. Very important. Do not skip this step. You need this. <laughs> so definitely have that in there. Um, but at the end, um, we can then kind of dynamically serve up a product. So let me run you through that over here on the right. Um, hopefully you can see this and my, my camera isn't covering it, but you can come over into logic and say, okay, if somebody answers a, which in this case, a is, you know, uh, there's skin concerns I want to address. Yes. Okay. Then we're asking them what those skin concerns are. If no, then we can send them to the main catalog page. Um, and then from here, hey, how important is that skin concern to you? What age group are you in? Got it. Based off of those answers, we can build landing or ending screen D, F, E, C, et cetera. So with this one, let me go to that one. So if someone said blemish and then um, go to the product, you know, based on your concerns, this is the product for you. I'm going to show you this in action so you can actually see it as well. Um, let me double check. I'm always like super self-conscious that potentially you guys can't see the screen. So I just want to double check. Okay, perfect. Um, so think of your brand or if you're a freelancer, you're building this out for a brand for them. I always go in and if I'm helping someone build out a quiz, I'm like, if you had to at the highest level categorize your customers into buckets one through five. What are those most common buckets? And then we're just trying to pry that information out of these new leads, okay? So let me show you this guy in action. So we'll go over to preview. So you can then see like what it'll look like on mobile, what it'll look like on desktop. So with this one in particular, let me go to the desktop one. 
we're going to build our skincare routine. So we're going to click yes. What is our name? We'll put in our name. So this is exactly how a person on the front end would see this. Uh, do I have skin concerns? Yes, I do. Um, aging, too real. Aging, no, very important, very scary. Um, what age group? Okay, I'm in 31 to 50. And then my email address, right? So say I got my Gmail here. Submit. And then at the end, it says, hey, anti-aging treatment cream is the best option for you and a product image. Then we can send them straight to the product page as well. So it's pretty cool. Like with Typeform, you can really kind of like not only send them through a quiz, but then be like, buy this product, add it to your bag. Here you go. You can even like produce for them a coupon code if you wanted to. Lots of fun things you could do with that. Um, but now that we have this quiz built out, how do we get it interacting inside of and then using that data. So let me show you real quick. I'm in a uh, demo account here and I'm going to head over into um, my settings. So let me pause real quick and head over into the settings area. Um, actually, we're going to go into integrations. Okay, once you're on the integrations page, you're not going to have type form here, but you're going to come over to add integration and then you're going to search for type form. Um, let me go ahead and kind of go down. So when you click this, it's going to already kind of know if you're logged into Typeform and start to get things synced. So like a big pop up, I've already done it. So I'm just like, oh, I got to explain it, but you'll see a big, uh, a big landing page pop up <clears throat> and you'll confirm. Yes, I am totally fine with integrating with Klaviyo. Don't try to integrate this from the Typeform side. So you'll see in Typeform, there's an integrations area and then you can click Clavio. It's just gonna tell you the steps of what I just told you. So do it within Clavio. That's the best way to do it. So once you have that though, you're then gonna come in to Typeform and you need to select where you wanna send these leads. If you don't do this step, Typeform will basically just put them into your account but they'll be in Clavio, they'll be like those floating profiles that are just kind of floating around. They're not a part of a certain list, but they are active. We have their information, but they're not like clearly assigned to a list. So you're gonna come over here and say, hey, I want to, and then you can select your type form and tell it exactly what list you want to put it in, okay? So if I go over to my list and segments, that, um, I, I ended up testing this earlier, so it's going to be a little bit different, but you'll see I have in here my Peyton C. Fox at Gmail. I'm going to click this and take a look at my profile. And there are all of, and I have a lot of past test things as well. So ignore like all of the type form things I've done with other clients, but <laughs> the main things are all in here. Okay. So everything I've basically kind of uh, put in through filling out a form. And you'll see you'll have a metric here as well called filled out form. So if I ever did want to just segment everyone who has filled out the form with the name skincare routine, this would pop up there and then I'd be able to um, filter by it. So what the heck do we do with this information now? So let's go into segments. There's one thing we can do which is go ahead and start building segments around this information. In my case, I think I said aging. Hopefully it's synced over. I, it might not actually because I have my other one, but let's see, we'll mess with it. Um, for now, we'll just say skincare. But we can start building out these segments and these pods of people so that we can send them some curated content. So there's going to be the automation side that you can build out, but this is more of like, you know, you have the campaign side of it. So when we come over with type form, it stores it as profile properties. So that's when you say properties about someone, and then we're going to filter those different profile properties. So in particular, any specific skincare routine? Yes. Well, that's not a great one because it's just a yes or no answer. But um, let's see. Oh, I have so many of my old client ones in here. So sorry about this. It's actually kind of a mess. Um, where is main concern equals blemishes? So that was the last one I did, right? So then we have a segment of our blemishes group and we'll create that segment. So just kind of showing you, you can drop down all those answers. That's the one thing I will say you need to test, which is <laughs> one thing, but it's kind of annoying. You do need to test every single option of your type form. So like you saw when I dropped that down, blemishes was the only answer. 
My aging answer, I think technically was in a preview, not an actual submission. So it's not really going to come over, but none of the other options are there yet. Got to test every single one for it to appear inside of Clavio. So just an annoying thing there, but it is what it is. The data has to exist for it to know what to filter by, right? So you got your segment side. Whoop do you do? You know, send out a campaign. Like if you're doing a promotion, for example, on blemish cream and you want to do an extra scent, like say you do a, a sale announcement and you want to do an extra push. Uh, why not segment that extra push to the this blemish group? They're going to be the most engaged, ideally, the one with this pain point, and you're not going to fatigue the rest of your list by blasting this to just your blemish group. So think of it in that lens. It's great extra targeting to get more messages out, but smartly. All right, let's head over into flows. So now I want to create a flow, right? I want to be able to build almost like a master quiz flow. This is like the most basic level of what you could start with with your flows. So we're going to come in and create this from scratch. And we're going to call it quiz nurture. That's what I usually call it. All right. And in our quiz nurture sequence, we want to come over and we have our metric here and we have our filled out form. So that is our filled out form piece. It's now coming over from type form. We can then do a trigger filter. So let's say we have multiple quizzes running and we just want to make sure that this is that skincare problem one. So we'll add in a trigger filter and form name, make sure it equals our product recommendation form, right? So then we'll kind of keep people siloed in there. Um, then thinking about all those buckets, that's where that stuff comes in here. So again, trigger split. We'll go in and say, all right, I want, whoops, not a trigger split, <laughs> a conditional split. I always do that. Conditional split. And then say properties about someone. And we're going to say concern, I think it was. What is the main concern? Equals blemishes. Boom. You know, we got it. We got an SMS. We have a delay. <laughs> My thing's being slow now, but you then have your blemish route. All my blemish people, they are getting a welcome email follow-up with all the product recommendations being about blemishes, uh, product reviews about blemishes, um, customer stories about blemishes, before and afters about blemishes. They're getting blemish the heck, okay? They're getting so much blemish content, it's crazy. So, <clears throat> and also you can even like, once you get down here in the quiz, I mean, you can introduce an offer right away. Honestly, I would introduce an offer right away if they've never purchased before. Um, but at the bottom, like even bump it up, like, okay, Hey, you know, get a whole blemish bundle for like 50% off or something crazy. Right. But let's say somebody is not blemishes. They're going to go down the no path. We're just going to do a conditional split again. And then say, it's not going to pop up because I don't have all the other ones but we will say main concern equals, it's not here. So let's go ahead and do, um, we'll do a custom one and we'll say it's acne. Highly recommend you don't do it the way I just did it here where I typed it in myself. It's, it leaves way too much room for error. So just throwing that up there. You should really have the actual fields and that way it's 100% locked in. Uh, but then you have your acne group. Shoop. You could even mix and match. So maybe you have your acne group or your blemishes group and it's also your acne group. Technically, they're kind of like, they are they like the same products. They buy the same things. No problem. Let's put them in the same one. So again, properties about someone, my concern, whoops, contains acne. So then now we're filtering blemish people, acne people down this path and they get curated content. Okay. So Hopefully this was kind of helpful. <laughs> this is a real, I, oh my God, I did it. I think I actually did this in under 30 minutes. Actually, I think I did it even faster. Wow. Um, let me think, is there anything else with quizzes? Oh, okay. Real important thing, right? So you also have, um, with the content that you're collecting, you have these quizzes, which are really great for first time customers. You could also use this for surveys. So let's say you really want to get some juicy details in a post-purchase sequence. Boom, toss in a type form. We're then collecting information. And then like on the last screen, we're like, how likely are you to 
purchase again in the next three months? And they're like, 100%. And you're like, okay, trigger a flow and send them a content and offer and everything in those three months. Like you can get a little, don't get diabolical with it. Okay. You got to do, you got to do email for good, not for evil, but uh, you can ask questions to then get some really targeted data to serve them up with it later. Okay. So um, quizzes, sorry, again, you could probably hear my dog squeaking in the background. <laughs> Marty, come here. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, you're on, you're doing a Facebook live. No big deal. Yeah. Let me go squeak crazy. Um, quizzes though, play around in type form. I highly recommend it, but, um, there are so many different types of forms, split conditions, questions you can ask, um, just juicy, juicy things that you can get out there that are going to really deliver up some targeted data. Let me go ahead and click there. <laughs> I'm like talking to you through the type form. Um, if you have any questions about using type form, the integration, how to use quizzes, put it in the comments below. Um, happy to answer any type of scenarios. Uh, I mean, I just highly recommend just get it out there in front of your audience and see what the reaction is. I had one client where um, they were a fitness apparel brand and they were really stuck on what the heck like their brand stood for almost like what is the flag in the ground what is like what difference are we making in women's life because in particular they knew that their audience were women but they didn't really know what the message was so they did a type form and they're like um to you being strong means a b c d e and you know they, they saw overwhelmingly it was like, you know, uh, in their particular case, it was like, okay, yeah, I feel strong because I was able to actually just take time for myself. Like they realized what their brand messaging could really become from their type form, from their quiz. So there's other stuff you can totally do with it as well to get some clarity on different things, to get clarity on your audience, on your promotions. There's so many clever things you can do with it. But I think at the surface level, product recommendation quiz, first step. And then go from there, um, collect your data, send some targeted sends, see what you can build out of that, and then just expand it from there. And uh, highly recommend it. Quizzes, usually if a new brand is struggling with lead generation, always recommending getting a quiz out there first. Okay, this is a quick one, y'all. Um, drop a comments in the comments below <laughs> and I'll respond. Um, and I will see y'all in the next one. If you have any recommendations or any requests for the next live training, uh, just drop it below. And I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Okay, bye.